Hello everyone, I am Ms. Albi, your teacher for today. Today, I'm going to discuss distance and displacement. And these are the objectives for this topic. Okay. First, differentiate distance from displacement. Second, calculate the distance and displacement of a moving object. And third is, recognize the importance of distance and displacement from something else in real life situations. Now, it is very important that after learning the what of a particular topic, that we also know how to apply it in real life situations, not just in the natural world, but also in the spiritual world we are living in. Okay. My aim today is for you to apply the idea of distance and displacement in the current situation we are in, which is the pandemic. But first, let us understand the meaning of the word distance and displacement. Okay, so let me just see it here. In physics, distance refers to how much ground an object has covered during its motion. While displacement refers to how far out of place the object is, or it refers to the overall change in position. Now, displacement only concerns on the initial and the final point. To calculate the displacement of the object, of the moving object, all we have to remember is the final and the initial point of the moving object. Now, distance is a scalar quantity, meaning it is magnitude, while displacement is a vector quantity which means that it has magnitude as well as direction okay to better illustrate the difference between these two let's have these examples all right so i want you to meet my assistant mr red okay now first example mr red walks from point c to point e if point E is 10 meters far from point C, okay, the distance covered by the stick man or by Mr. Red is 10 meters, while the displacement is also 10 meters. Now, since displacement has direction, so we need to include the direction, which is east. So, Displacement is really 10 meters east. Here, the distance is and the displacement have the same magnitude, which is 10. Okay, next situation, next example. Mr. Red walks from point C to E, then turns back and walks for another 15 meters. So what is the distance and displacement this time? Okay, distance is the total length of the path covered, so it is 25 meters. Okay, the, the displacement, which is the shortest distance from the starting point to the final point, is equal to 5 meters. The initial point is point C, the final point is B, which is 5 meters away from C. So displacement is equal to 5 meters, and the direction is west so five meters west now third example mr red again walks 10 meters east then turns back and walks for another 10 meters towards c so what is the value of distance and displacement okay distance all we have to do is add the two numbers so 20 meters that's 10 plus 10 and displacement is equal to zero it's zero because there is no change in position the initial and the final position are the same initial is point c the final position is point c so the overall there is no change in position that means there is no displacement or the value of our displacement is equal to zero Next situation, this is our fourth example. Now, Mr. Red 
goes around the circle. Okay, what will be his distance and displacement? Okay, the distance would be equal to the circumference of the circle. If the circumference of the circle is 20 meters, then the distance is also 20 meters. Okay, how about the displacement? So the overall change in position is equal to zero. That's why displacement is zero. Now, our last example. Mr. Red walks 5 meters east. After reaching point B, he then walks another 5 meters south. So what is the distance and displacement covered? Okay, so distance is 10 meters. Now, how about the displacement? Is it also 10? No, it is not. Displacement is the shortest line distance from the initial point, which is A, to the final point, which is C. So here, we can draw a straight line from the starting point A to the final point, which is C. So if you have noticed, a right triangle is formed and line AC is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we can find the value or we can find the length of line AC. Now recall your math lessons. So Pythagorean theorem so, you have the c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, right? Okay, so here, line ac is equal to the square root of ab squared plus bc squared. Now, let's substitute the values and then perform the necessary operations. And it will give us this value. Line ac is equal to 7.07 .07 meters so the displacement the magnitude of the displacement is 7.07 .07 meters and the direction is uh, south of east okay so i hope that by now it is clear to you the difference between the two the distance and displacement now let me just repeat the definition of distance and displacement Okay, distance refers to the total path covered by the moving object. Displacement is, it refers to the overall change in position. Now, we notice that there are cases where distance and displacement are equal. Okay, other times, the distance is greater than the displacement. Also, there are situations wherein the distance is non-zero but the displacement is zero. It happens when the moving object returns to the starting point. Now, the meat of our talk. How do we relate distance and displacement in solving the crisis we are in? Do you think we can apply it now during this pandemic? Yes, we can. Consider what is happening now. COVID-19 and all other variants are everywhere, especially outside our homes. Okay, let me have this illustration. As you can see, the world outside our house is so dark and full of bad elements. If we go out our respective homes, we might unknowingly catch those bad stuff and we don't want it, right? What I'm saying is, for us to be protected, we need to stay home as much as possible. Avoid unnecessary trips outside your residence. Having a zero distance from your home is recommended by the experts. I know it is impossible for us not to go out because we need to work, buy groceries, and do other stuff. Okay, now... Since it is inevitable to go outside, then I think we also need something more that can protect us all the time, whether inside or outside our homes, right? Is it the vaccine? Yes, it can be. 
but you know that the efficacy of the vaccine right now is not yet 100%. But I know something which offers 100% efficacy. And this one can also solve all other problems in life. Now consider this. God created man in his image and likeness. God loves mankind so much that he gave his only begotten son to die for us so that those who believe in him will be saved. God wants us to remain in him because only in his presence, in him that we are fully protected. If we go out of his will, if we go out to the dark world, ugly things might happen to us. God knows that. That is why he warns us not to go there in the world without him. But if you choose to go out without him, he will let you do that. Because he has given you free will and he will never violate what he has given to you. Now, if you feel you are very distant from God, if you feel you are in the world without Him, if you feel that you have traveled away from Him and wandered in the darkness, then just go back to Him. You can always change your position, right? Just like Mr. Red. You can always change your position. You can always change your displacement. How? How did Mr. Red do it? Mr. Red returned to the starting point, right? So that's what we will do here. All we have to do is return to our starting point, which is in the presence of God. So return to God. Make your displacement zero by returning to God, to His presence. Having a zero distance from God has so many benefits because He is a good God. If you are in union with God, you can go anywhere without worrying if any bad things might happen to you. So just like this, you can go to the world with God and you will not worry if something bad will happen to you because again you are in his presence so in his presence in the secret place of the most high god you are protected 100 percent protected from anything that can harm you so dwell in the secret place only with god you, that you can have 100 percent protection only the blood of Jesus has the 100% efficacy against COVID, which is more than what the vaccine can offer to you. So now, now you know what you need to have. Now you know the secret. The shortest distance to problem-free life is remaining or dwelling in the presence of your Creator. That is the promise of God. And God is God. He is not the man that lies. So I hope you learned something from today's discussion. Okay, thank you for your time. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. And share this video to someone else. So that they can also be blessed today. God bless and bye for now. Thank you.